Landox flow boosters, made by Landustrie, based in the Netherlands, guarantee a constant propulsion and constant plug flow of the mixed liquor. The fine bubble aeration in the basin, arising from bottom to the surface, is much more efficient than aeration by means of conventional propellers. What's more, the robust Landox units require less maintenance than fragile propellers. Jaap van Belsen, retired operator of a Dutch wastewater treatment plant, explains the disadvantages of conventional propellers. A conventional propeller is situated some five feet below the water level. And if something occurs, you have a real problem. I remember once the motor chair got loose. And another time the casing broke down due to constant vibration. And even smashed hoisting cables. Sometimes you get water in the oil. Well, I experienced a lot in 20 years. The Landox, however, is a robust construction, very easily accessible. That is the main advantage. And of course, the energy savings. It's a unique product. And the last one, a little bit of energy saving, that makes it for a great thing. The average lifetime of the Landox is some 25 years. Landox stands for energy savings in many ways. The Landox operates at low speed. This means a steady, constant circulation of the wastewater. In this way, less energy is required for propulsion. An even bigger saving is realized by fine bubble aeration. Small bubbles perfectly reach the surface. As these bubbles remain small, a maximum surface is created for the optimum oxygen transfer into the water. A conventional propeller creates a turbulent flow and small bubbles will then coalesce into large ones, automatically transferring less oxygen. This means the fine bubble aeration system has to operate more often. If a Landox unit is used in the oxidation ditch, the system will start up less frequently. As aeration is the largest energy consumer in a wastewater treatment plant, this will result in energy savings of at least 10%. Another advantage of the Landox is its position in the bends of the oxidation ditch, releasing more space for the aeration plates. Failures caused by the clotting of synthetic fibers and other non-solvable material will not occur with the Landox. However, with the conventional propeller, fiber detritus will clog around the axis of the propeller. This results in breakdowns, just where the Landox pushes the fibers away. Maintenance of the Landox flow booster is also very easy and simple. Look, this is the drive unit, just here. This also has to be robust, as the water level is about 9 feet the drive unit about one and a half feet. So, a drum of about 10 feet is suspended below. It's very heavy with all those blades. And it should rotate as well. So, what we see here is a very solid bearing construction. Then on top, of course, is the gearbox. If maintenance is required, you just switch it off and access it easily. And lubrication of the bearing assembly is also very easy. A small grease injector can be simply filled. Wastewater authorities are increasingly convinced that Landox flow boosters, combined with fine bubble aeration, are much more efficient than propellers with fine bubble aeration. The Landox was introduced to the wastewater market some 30 years ago. Nowadays, it's produced not only in the Netherlands, but also in the USA and Japan. The unique Landox design and aeration technique has proven itself worldwide in numerous wastewater treatment plants. For more information, please go to www.landustry.nl.